Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make apple hand pies. Very similar to the ones that Hostess makes, the little Hostess fruit pies that come in all kinds of varieties and flavors. We're gonna make something similar to that. Really easy to do in honor of uh, March 14th, which is annual pie day. I had a request to make something pie related. So here we go, little hand apple pies. Let's get started. Okay, first let's preheat our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's take a small bowl and we are gonna add one quarter cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of cornstarch, one fourth teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of flour, and one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And if you don't have nutmeg, you can leave that out, but it's always nice to add it. And now with a whisk or a fork, just come in here and just mix this all together. All right, and now we take apples. These are two large Granny Smith apples. You can use whatever apples you want. I like to use a nice tart apple. And then I peeled them and then diced them up really small. Makes about two cups worth. And we're gonna take our dry mixture and just pour it all over it. And then just mix it around with your hands really well. I like that, there we go. All right, now we take our pie crust. I just have store-bought pie crusts. They were on sale. I thought, why not use them? Um, this package has two of them and it was 99 cents. Um, so that's really cool. You can make homemade pie crusts if you like. Um, check out one of my apple pie video. I have a really great recipe for a flaky um, homemade crust. I'm just gonna roll it out here. You might need to dust the tabletop with some flour. Okay, and then I'm gonna take um, this lid that I have, just a plastic lid. It's about five inches in diameter. You could use whatever size that you want. And I'm just gonna cut out some circles here. And this, I'm just gonna put it together. I'm just gonna roll it out. Maybe just one more out of this one. And now what we do is we take one of our circles and we take a little bit of our, winds up being a couple big tablespoons. About like that right in the middle. Then we wanna go ahead and just fold this over. Okay, I might have a little bit too much in this one. That's okay. And then we just wanna seal the bottoms. And then with a fork, you can just come in here. And I'm gonna do a poke, 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 poke. Let the steam out. All right, really nice. And then I'm just gonna put this little hand pie here over here on my cookie sheet lined with a silicone mat, or you can use parchment paper. And there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them now. All right, and then when you're done, we'll go ahead and put these in the oven and bake them at 375 Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. All right, when our apple hand pies come out of the oven, they'll look like this, lightly golden brown. And now what we wanna do is let them cool for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then what we're gonna do is I have some powdered sugar here. It's about a, a cup and a quarter cup. And then I'm gonna take some milk, a couple tablespoons worth. I'm gonna start with, oh, about a tablespoon. Use a fork and mix this all together. We're gonna to make our glaze. Need a little bit more milk. You don't wanna add it all in at once. Just, the, just a little too thick. All right, there we go. And that's what you want, is a nice runny glaze like this. So what we can do is we, we can pick up a whole pie and just put it in there like that, both sides. Let it excess drip off and then go ahead and put it on a wire rack. Or you can also just use a, a basting brush. Just come in here and just baste it on if you want. Totally up to you how you do this. 
All right, and then when you're finished glazing them, go ahead and let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes until the glaze dries and they'll be done. All right, our hand apple pies are done. They turned out amazing, really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Go out there and make your own. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna take a bite out of this guy right here. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's so good. Mm.